or come back to LNS before the outbreak, we were able to give you some definitions. Now, what I have here is an extract from the pre-adjustment trial balance of Brixton suppliers on the 31st of December. That is the end of the financial year. And we are required now to prepare the owner's equity, note seven. Note seven. So you have to understand your notes, all right? You have to know all your notes that relate to the financial statements. Here we're going to prepare note seven. And here is additional information. It says the owner increases capital, and this has not yet been recorded. We have a net profit, and we have drawings that have not been recorded as well. So we want to do these adjustments, and let's see how they affect our equity note. Okay, here is note seven. In note seven, we begin it with balance at the beginning of the year. So I'll come here, then I'll say balance at the beginning, balance at the beginning of the year. All right, so I'm told that the owner increased, but it has not been recorded. That means whatever I have here is the amount before any adjustment. So I'll then say that is my balance at the beginning. So I'll have it as 819,500. All right, then I will come and add my net profit for the year. I have to add my net profit for the year. And my net profit for the year is 221,000. There it is. My net profit for the year is 221,000. So I'm coming to add that, the net profit for the year. Remember, the net profit is going to increase the owner's equity. All right, the net profit. We add it now to the balance at the beginning. And then, I would then consider if the owner has contributed more capital. It says the owner increased his capital by 130,000 during the year. So I'll come and say additional capital contributed. Additional capital. Additional capital contributed. Okay. And my additional capital contributed is 130,000. There it is. So very important that my additional capital, I add it. So I'm adding this 130. I am given drawings of 70,200 and that has not been recorded. Drawings decrease owner's equity. So when I come here, I'll then say minus drawings. Minus drawings. And my drawings is 70,200. So if I'm subtracting, I'm going to put my bracket. 70,200. That is my drawings. Very important. Let me say this again. Your net profit for the year, you add it. It increases your net profit. Uh, sorry, it increases your owner's equity, rather. Your net profit increases your uh, equity. And your additional capital is going to be added as well. And then you subtract your drawings. You subtract your drawings. Then you're going to say 819,500 plus 221,000 plus 130,000 minus 70,200. Then you end up with 1,100,300. That therefore becomes your balance at the end of the year. Once you have that balance at the end of the year, you will see here is the information properly presented. And once I have it, I then take it to my statement of financial position. In the statement of financial position, I'm going to record it under my owner's equity and liabilities, not in the assets, but under owner's equity and liabilities section. And then I'll come to my owner's equity, then I'll say capital. 
I know this is note number seven, so I have my note number seven here. And my total is 1,100,300. So I bring it here, 1,100,300. And therefore the total becomes owner's equity, 1,100,300. That is how I would do adjustments that affect note number seven, and I'll take the balance at the end and bring it to my statement of financial position. Dear learners, let's go for an ad break, and I'll see you shortly. <laughs>